Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're going to be doing my shop, my stash, and everyday makeup basket for July of 2021. Alright, I've picked up some new products and I've got some products on the way so it's really going to affect the basket. So let's go ahead and jump in first with the products that are up here. Um, I tend to do the same kind of like three month standard uh, like use for a brow gel as I do the same for mascaras. I'm not as strict as I am with mascara, but I've had this for about three months, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and make this an empty, um, especially because I have other brow gels I really want to test out. So I was gifted these brow gels in PR from Shop Masse. This is the brown brow gel in the squeezy tube. I don't know how well this is going to work just because I, my hair isn't dark, dark brown anymore. It's really black, so I don't know how that's going to look. Um, I'm really excited to try out these. So these are their brow mascaras. They're called the Go Brow. So this is actually a reformulation of their original... Uh, like brow gel product which was trash <laughs> like the original project was actually horrible so I was actually really excited to see that they had reformulated it so I got two I believe one is clear oh no they're both clear so I'm actually only gonna use one of these I thought I picked up a brown color too so I'm just gonna use the clear one here and then we're gonna use this brown one here because I'm just really curious and I want to test them both out I believe I've hit the three months for both of these. The Essence Lash Princess is my favorite. I have like three backups of this in my drawer. Um, and then the Shop Miss A AOA Studio Wisp Wisp Mascara, I actually hated. I'm not a fan. <laughs> so I'm excited to finally just get rid of this. So I keep my tried and true NYX glitter glue, which is like my favorite glitter glue, just in there. Um, but I was also gifted from Shop Masse this glitter eye primer. So it's another tacky base from them, and I've never tried it out. So I think I'm going to move the NYX back into my collection for now and give this one a good try. Let's leave this down here. As far as eyeliners go, I'm going to keep these NYX ones in my basket. I've honestly just been reaching for these so often because they're amazing liners. Um, I picked up I think another shade in the last month and a half but I just I love these they last all day in my waterline they're bright and I love them so I'm just gonna keep them <laughs> out here. I will go ahead and move these back into my collection to pick out some other ones. We've got this Pixie Crayon, this MAC Brown Liner, some uh, AOA Studio Liners, which are pretty decent, but honestly not as great as the NYX ones, and then this NYX Epic Ink uh, Pen Liner. For lipsticks, I'm going to keep this Urban Decay Bullet Lipstick because this is actually a product in my new Petty Project Pan. I just posted the intro for that project. I'll go ahead and throw it up in the cards if you missed it, but I'm going to keep that in a special section of the basket, and then these three I'm going to move back into my collection. I really want to pick out some other lipsticks. So we've got the YSL Lip Stain, um, the ColourPop and Sophia Nygaard lipstick, and then the mini Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. This is a new purchase in addition to my collection that I'm really excited for. I'm prepping for my next Best and Worst of Black Lipsticks video, and I finally picked up this. This is the Black Lipstick from Beauty Bakery. It's in the shade Midnight Truffles, and I'm super, super excited to try it out. I haven't actually used it yet, so I'm going to keep that out, and I think I might pick up some more black lipsticks. We'll see. I have to figure out which ones I own in my collection. I still haven't done in a video that I need to pull out for the next video, so we might be doing that in this month's basket. Alright, and then up here all I have is my eyelash curler and some headphones, so I think that's everything for up top. Let's go ahead and move into the drawers. For drawer number one, hmm... I'm going to keep the Luminous Putty Primer from e.l.f. because that is also part of my Petty Project pan. I'm going to keep the Stay Matte Powder. Um, I finished up the other powder that I had in here, so I did just bring in this Rimmel Stay Matte Powder to use because it's perfect for the summer especially, but I do use this year-round. I've got that. I think I'm going to go ahead and move the Pro Conceal, the green one, back. The, the foundations that I pulled out, I really didn't need to mix too much. And we'll see. I've got a new, newer foundation I want to pull out, but I think for now I'm okay moving this back into my collection. Let's go ahead and move this BB cream. I, I use It's a BB cream. I use it as a primer. I'm going to move that back into my primer drawer because I have some other primers I do want to bring out. I have been using this Lorac Eye Primer, so I'm going to keep this in. I want to see if I can finish it up. I think right now it's like half empty. I'm going to keep these two concealers because they're honestly just my go-to summer concealers. I talk about them in my summer essentials video. If you miss it, I'll throw it up in the cards. But I just need these because it's hot and it's disgusting and I need a good bulletproof uh, concealer. 
Uh, I haven't actually needed to use Dermacol too much recently. I really use this for spot concealing and, you know, knock on wood, but um, my skin's been doing decent, so I haven't had to do too much spot concealing. So I'm going to move this back into my concealer drawer for now. All right, so foundations. I've really been using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless and the Double Wear, because those are like really the best go-to summer foundations that I have right now. So I think I'm going to move these two back into my collection. So we have the Kindness Vegan Beauty with, with the beautiful vegan kindness and beauty uh, locket foundation. And then also the AOA Studio Perfect BB Cream. And that's everything for this drawer. For drawer number two, we've got my Pan That palette, which we will of course be keeping. I'm gonna move the Sunset palette back into my collection. I really, really dipped in to use some of the shimmers along with the Lila palette. Let's see, I've been using this Tom Ford cream shadow a lot recently, and I kind of want to use some other things, so I'm going to move this back into my drawer. Um, this ColourPop shadow is part of my Petty Project pan. This Color Tattoo cream shadow is what I use for my brows every day, so I'm going to keep that there. I'm going to move the Riviera palette back out. There's actually another ABH palette I want to bring out for the next month, so I'm <laughs> switching that out. And then last but not least, we have this uh, Pat McGrath palette. I was originally going to film with this, but I've got, like, I had to get, move some things around in my YouTube schedule, so I don't think I'm going to get around to filming with this for a little bit longer. So I think, because I'm not really using it every day now, I think I'm going to move it back onto my eyeshadow palette bookshelf, and I'll just pull it out when I actually have time to film with it for a video. So we've cleaned out that drawer. Drawer number three. Okay. So, um, the Charlotte Tilbury Bronze and Glow is part of my Petty Project pan, so that is going to stay. I'm going to move the ABH Glow Kit. I was using this for bronzer and contour. I'm going to move this back into my collection. These eyeshadows I got in PR from Shop Miss A. I really want to test them out and do a video on them coming up soon. So I'm going to leave those over in that corner so I can film with them. Um, I really want to finish this up. I thought I would have finished it by now. This is a Milani face powder that's a little too dark for me, so I'm using it as a bronzer. And there's still so much left. <laughs> so I'm, hopefully, I'm hoping I can finish this this month. I'm going to move this cream uh, blush from Fenty back out. And then same with this uh, loose blush from Chrome Pebble. For this Z palette, I am going to only keep the highlight from my Petty Project Pan. I'm going to move these other two highlights that I'm not using anymore back into my collection. I'm also going to clean this out. <laughs> there we go. That's a little bit better. <laughs> And last but not least, we have the bottom drawer. I finished up a Laura Mercier powder last month, so I brought in the Maybelline Fit Me Loose powder that I'm using. I have shade 05. And then over here, I have this little plastic container. It currently has all the Cavalli lashes that I'm testing out for a video. I'm about to be finished filming after a couple weeks of testing these out. I'm almost done with the video, so once I'm done filming that I won't need to have like all the lashes because they, they sent me quite a few and I wanted to test them all out for the video so once I'm done with that video I'm going to move these into my lash drawer and then I want to make this little container the um, holder for the Petty Project Pan product so like everything that's part of that Project Pan I want to keep in this one spot so I think we're good there all right so let me go ahead and move those products back to where they belong in my makeup collection and we'll be back to shop my stash Okay, so for primer, I already have a putty-esque primer, so I don't think I should pull out another one. Let's see. Let's go ahead and bring in this primer. This is the AOA Studio Perfect Filter Face Primer, and it's like a silicone-based uh, blurring primer. Okay, I keep my setting sprays in here. I just Since this is straight to my left on my vanity, I just pull these out whenever I actually need them, um, and I think we are good for this drawer. All right, in this drawer we have blushes and then bronzers down here. Um, since I'm trying to finish up that Milani face powder, I don't think I should bring in a bronzer, like individual bronzer. Yeah, let's stay away from those. Let's go ahead and get some blush. You know, I really felt like pulling this one out a few times over the last few weeks, so let me just pull this one out. This is from BH Cosmetics. This is the Glamorous Blush 10 Color Blush Palette. And it just has some really pretty, like, reds and pinks and, like, that light lilac kind of purple. Just a really cool palette. So let's bring this one in. And then do I want to bring in a cream for if I feel like using cream blush? 
Let's bring in this pixie one that's like a nice like terracotta shade and I think it would work really nicely. Alright, so for highlighter, I'm technically panning two highlighters. So I really shouldn't bring in any more. But I have a brand new one that I just picked up that I haven't used yet, so let's let's pull that one out. This is from Milani, and I actually saw this as a recommendation on Instagram. Someone said that this was an amazing highlighter. This is their baked highlighter in Dulce Perla. And I just I really want to try it out. So let's bring that one in. And then I think we're good for highlighters for now. So I'm still testing out all those lashes from Cavalli, so I don't think I need to bring in any other lashes. If anything, I'll be moving a lot of those down here. I actually really like the way this is set up now. I've got most of my Shop Missé over here. I've got some Glamnetic down here, and then I have this whole section over here open so I can put the Cavalli lashes over there. Um, I really want to bring out this mascara. So this is from Physicians Formula, and this is the Butter Blowout Mascara. Now, I think I've only tried one or two mascaras from Physicians Formula, and I wasn't a fan, but I tried those years ago. And apparently this is a new just mascara formula that they have, so I really want to try this out. So I'll pull this one out. Uh, let's see, so down here I've got the glitter glue that I'm not using currently, and then over here I've got like backup mascaras, brow gels, stuff like that, and I don't think I need anything else. So let's move along all right so down here i've got eyeshadow palettes it's a little bit better organized than it was last month um but i'm realizing i really need to do a declutter there are quite a few palettes that i know i don't want to keep and it's just making this messy and it's harder to like try to figure out how i want to organize it when i have so many palettes that i know i like just don't want to keep so i'm trying to think of when would be best for like me and my schedule to film a full declutter because what I, I don't do declutter like one category. If I declutter, I'm going to declutter my whole collection and film the whole thing. So I think in the next few weeks, I don't know if it's going to be this month or maybe next month, but I, I need to go through and do a declutter. And eyeshadows are probably like always going to be the biggest part of that. Anyway, for this month, I have I have some palettes in mind that I want to pick out and I don't think any of them are in this drawer. So let's move on to the other side of my vanity. All right, in drawer number one over here, we have all of my foundations, concealers, and powders. Now for foundation, I want to try this one now. This is the Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation. We, uh, my boyfriend and I, were actually at a TJ Maxx a few weeks ago, and we saw literally the entire line of these foundations there. They had every shade. There was like multiples of every shade. It was kind of crazy. So I don't know if they're discontinuing this or if it did so bad, they just, you know, they're dumping all the extra. Um, I talked mad shit about this when it first came out because if you didn't know, Beauty Blender shat the bed when this foundation came out. If you missed that video, it's from years ago. I'll throw it up in the cards. But I have to admit, I was curious about it and my boyfriend actually bought this for me as like a little gift that day. So I've got this foundation. I've never tried it. I want to go ahead and give it a shot. So let's bring that in. Other than that, I really want to bring in this stick foundation. This is the Makeup Revolution Fast Base Stick Foundation. It's one of my favorite foundations to use in the summer. And it's also one of the, if not the only, stick foundation I like. So I'm going to bring this one in. All right. I already brought in a face powder when I finished up the face powder and the loose powder from earlier. So I think we're good over here. And then I already have concealers um, just because I really picked out the ones that work the best for me in the summer. Oh, look at this e.l.f. one. It's separating. Ooh, that's gnarly looking. Anyway, <laughs> so I think we're okay over here. Yeah. So here I have all of my individual shadows, single shadows, liners, and cream shadows. So Shot Miss A came out with some individual cream shadows a few weeks ago, and I did get sent a few of them in PR. So I really want to pull out, this is specifically a silver one. These are called um, the Buttercream. They're technically liners and shadows, and this one's in silver. I really want to pull that one out. What other shades did I get? Like a dark blue, a light blue. Oh, there's a green. Hmm. There's an or Oh, let's do this like orangey gold shade. Let's do that one. And that's a red. I think we're okay with those. I know I had this looking so pretty before, and I ruined it. <laughs> There we go. We did it. <laughs> okay. Um, they also sent me some of their liners. These are the Eyes on Me liners. So what? I pulled out a gold and a silver. 
let's pull out, I haven't used yellow liner in a bit. Let's pull out some yellow liner. And, and I think we're good over there. So, um, we have cream shadows and liquid liner. Do I want another liner? This is another section that I really do need to declutter as well, because I know I don't use all of these. You know what, I'll bring out an oldie but a goodie, a good pencil um, black liner. This is the Lancome, and this is just a black liner I've literally had for years. And then I kind of want to bring this one out. This is from LA Splash. I'm pretty sure I've gotten this in like a Tri Beauty box in the past. And it's like a um, felt tip liner on one side, and then it's like this pinky or rose gold liner on the other side. So let's bring that one in. lipsticks. Now I have to say I am now very happy with the way this drawer is organized. It took me way too long <laughs> trying to figure out how best to organize it but I think this is a, a good way of putting it. I've got all my black lipsticks here. I've got my red lipsticks here. Glosses. These are all nudes and very nude adjacent. These are green lipsticks which I think I'm going to get another one of these and put the green lipsticks into there. Maybe move the glosses over here. And then on top so this is a um, container that actually fits perfectly like here so it kind of floats so I still have room underneath to store stuff which is really nice and these are everything that doesn't fit into those categories so you've got like purples mauves hot pinks any other colors that don't fit go into that container I can either pull it all the way up like this or I can push it all the way into the back like that and I still have room down there for stuff so I'm really happy with this finally it took me a while to figure this out but anyway I mentioned earlier I want to bring in some black lipsticks as I'm beginning to test out more lipsticks and I actually just purchased a few more from Sephora for my upcoming black lipstick video and what I need to do really is go through this whole pot of black lipsticks and figure out which ones I included in my last video and which ones I need to include in the new video so I'll just do that on my own time and figure that out so I'll probably pull in one or two of those as far as other colors go I'm trying to think I really want, I'm actually going to be filming a video later today, and I want a nice nude liquid lipstick. So let's pull something very nude. Let's do this one. This is nude. Yeah, so this is from Wet n Wild, and this is the Liquid Katsu in Nudie Patootie, which is one of my favorite lipsticks ever, and I haven't worn it in a while. So let's bring that one out. I also want to bring in this Melt. This is like a mustardy kind of yellow liquid lipstick. Let's bring that one in. And you know what? I think we're good for lipstick because I also have that bullet lipstick that I'm panning. So we'll stick with those. All right, here we have face palettes. I kind of just want to pull in a small face palette since I did not pull out a contour. So let's see. Alright, so I didn't expect to pick two, but I really like I really want to use both of these. So for bronzer and contour, I like this Profusion Highlight and Contour palette. I've actually already hit pan here, and I might hit pan in this one pretty soon, but I want to bring that one in. But I also I really wanted to like pull out this Lorac palette. This is a blush and highlighter palette. So I'm mainly gonna be pulling this out for the blushes because they're really, really pretty. So for this bottom drawer, I these are other eyeshadow palettes that just really don't have a rhyme or reason as far as organization goes yet. Huh. But I'm debating. I know that there are some palettes I want to pull out from the bookshelf. Is there anything here that I want to use? No, because I still have that palette on the way. Okay, so I think I'm okay here. Let's go ahead and move to the bookshelf and pick out a couple palettes there. All right, and welcome to the eyeshadow palette bookshelf. First palette I want to pick out is right over here. I have really been actually craving to go for like a really glam neutral look recently, which, whoa, who is she? But I thought the perfect palette for that would be the ABH Soft Glam Palette. Honestly, also, this palette really reminds me of fall <laughs> with those warm tones in it. But I also think that these shades are going to pair really beautifully with the shades in my Lila palette that I really want to start working on. So I want to bring this palette in. I know. I know, guys. Another palette that I thought of when I thought of, like, really glam neutral looks is the only Morphe palette that I still own and like. And this is the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. Honestly, 
an amazing palette. I kind of hate how much I really, really love this palette, but I want to bring this out and I want to start using this again. And I think those palettes are going to be good because I already have the Shop Massey palettes in my basket to um, test and review. And then I do have another palette coming in. I picked up the Teresa is Dead and Lethal Cosmetics collab, so I'll have that palette coming in. So I think we're going to an eyeshadow palettes. Let me go ahead and add all the makeup to my basket and I'll be back for the final reveal. All right, and we're back at the basket. I went ahead and added the lipsticks right up here. We've, we've got our new mascara up here. All of our eyeliners, except for the yellow one head didn't fit, put it down here. And then we've got our uh, glitter glue and then our um, brow gels right up there. So let's go ahead and get into the drawers. In drawer number one, we have the uh, primers, the face powder, the concealers, all of our foundations over there. In drawer number two, we have the Jaclyn Hill palette on the bottom because it was too big to fit just about anywhere else. The Lila palette, the Soft Glam palette, and then the uh, cream shadow I used for my brows and the ColourPop Super Shock shadow. Here we got a good mishmash of stuff. We got our blush palettes because I realized we have two blush palettes that we picked. We have the Profusion Highlight and Contour palette, the Milani Highlight, the Milani Bronzer I'm trying to finish up. The Actually, the two liners... Let's move these two liners up here. I feel like they'd probably fit a little bit better right here from Shop Masse. There we go. And then we got the Pixie Blush, the Shop Masse um, Eyeshadow Quads, the Charlotte Tilbury Bronze and Glow, and then our little lonely single uh, highlight back there. And once again, I'm hoping to, once I finish filming with da, 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 these lashes down here, I do want to use this container or something similar just to hold all the products from that project pan because I like having everything kind of in one place. We've got the Cavalli lashes and then of course our loose powder with our little poof poof. And that's everything I'm going to be using for July. Wow, it's already July. You know, it's been so disgustingly hot. I, I literally am counting down like the hours until it's fall. Like I just, I'm not, I'm not meant for the heat. I'm just not let me know down below what you guys are going to be using in July, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.